and welcome to this shop update preview. I'm Hannah Lisa, the host of the Making Stories podcast, and I run Making Stories. We're an online yarn shop with all things sustainable knitting. Is that even a thing that you can say with all things sustainable? That doesn't seem like a thing you can say. So in our shop, you can get sustainably produced knitting yarns and spinning fibers and very, very, very cute notions. And this is my space on YouTube where I share what I'm working on and what is coming to our shop. And that's why I'm here today because we have something, I'm just uh, double checking that it's recording, but it is. <laughs> um, we have something really, really, really exciting coming up. Um, if you have been following us for a little while, you know that um, we started carrying spinning fibers in May of 2024. So just a, just a month ago, essentially, we had our first spinning fiber update, which absolutely blew my mind. We had some really gorgeous braids and Rolex and comb top, and they just flew off the shelves. Um, which makes me very happy because I have most definitely been bitten by the spinning bug. I got myself a secondhand wheel way back in December and I absolutely adore spinning. Um, it's soothing and rhythmic and for me also a very wonderful opportunity to learn something new as an adult. Um, especially the past week and a half or so, I've been spinning a lot because um, the European Championships in track and field just wrapped up, which is something that I like to watch. So my evening ritual was sitting down with my spinning wheel in front of the TV, just, you know, spinning away, seeing other people run and jump and throw things. Um, so yeah. I'm here today because we are going to have our second ever spinning fiber update very soon. This is going to happen on Wednesday, June, I'm completely blanking on the date now, June 19th. I wanted to say June 17th and then I was like, no, the 17th is the Monday. So Wednesday, June 19th, as always, our collective members, Levels Full Skein and Sweater Quantity, have early access at 9 a.m. Berlin time for three hours, and at noon, the shop update launches for everyone else. Um, a quick side note on the collective, this is our monthly membership program. It's a wonderful way to support our work if you like what we do. Um, other ways of supporting our work is placing orders with us, sharing about us on Instagram, uh, leaving a review on the website. Um, and if you feel like contributing to one of our stable revenue streams, um, the collective is a really good way to do that. Uh, running a business like ours, which is very much value based, um, is hard um, because a lot of the decisions that we make are more expensive than they were if we weren't as focused on sustainability and caring for this planet and its people. Be that that we, um, you know, only source products, yarns, fibers, notions where we exactly know how they are produced, where they are produced, completely natural fibers. Um, those products are usually more expensive and come with a lower margin. Be that with our publishing side of the business, where we decided to print on recycled paper and locally here in Berlin, both of which is very, very expensive. Um, so I love running the business, this business, the way that, that I run it, uh, based on values that I feel are very dear to me and that you know I want to share with the world. Um, and I also just want to show you know that a business can survive and thrive <laughs> if it's values based, values based, but that doesn't sort of neglect the fact that a lot of times it's the more difficult road that we've chosen. And so the collective is a really <laughs> lovely way for us to um, sort of have an additional revenue stream that kind of compensates some of the other costs that come with running the business the way that we run it. So. If this type of business is something that you would like to support our monthly membership, the collective is something that you could 
check out. It uh, starts at as little as five euros a month. There are three different levels available. They come with all sorts of benefits, discount codes, the early access that I mentioned. We run a monthly virtual knit night, which is a lot of fun. Um, and I'm gonna stop talking about the collective right now because I actually wanna talk about this very big IKEA box sitting right next to me with some of the most gorgeous spinning fiber that I have ever seen. I literally screamed, well, with joy when I opened the parcels. Um, let me tell you a little story. When I got my spinning wheel, I posted a question sticker on Instagram asking for recommendations of indie dyers who also dyed spinning fiber. Um, there are some, uh, not a lot, not by far as many as, as uh, dye yarn. Um, and I was particularly interested in spinning fibers uh, that are a little bit more unique that you can't get everywhere and in dyers who are somewhat local to me. I feel like there is the resurgence of spinning started in the US um, and over the last year or two I feel there or I have become more aware of a lot of um, dyers in the US who have started dyeing spinning fibers who have maybe always done like dyed spinning fibers and who have now gained popularity um, and so I knew about quite a few of those and I didn't really know a lot about our spinning fiber dyeing scene here in Germany and Europe and when I posted that question sticker one of the names that continuously came up was the one of Frau Wölfchen um, which loosely translates into Miss Little Wolf. Um, and Frau Wölfchen is a dyer based in Germany, um, sort of in the middle, in the middle of Germany, actually quite close to where my in-laws live, which is fun. Um, and uh, she is a uh, she is a dyer who is dyeing on yarn and fiber and she has been dyeing on fiber for quite a number of years she's a spinner as well um which i find is um really helpful like the the fibers that i have tried um i think there is just something that you know you bring to sort of understanding color in a braid in a comb top in a rolag that is different if you are a spinner versus not i don't know if that if that makes if that makes sense um but anyways um heike heike is her name heike's name came up over and over again um so one of the first orders that i placed uh, when I got my spinning wheel was with her and I got the I got the fiber and I was so impressed I was like this is fabulous not only does she have a really broad selection of fibers um, like breed specific fibers that you can't really get in a lot of other shops but also does she do a marvelous job with dyeing on those fibers um, the quality is impeccable so none of the you know like i've had some braids that have come i have arrived and they were a little bit felted they didn't feel super well like this is just gorgeous like gorgeous 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 um so when i decided that we were gonna carry spinning fiber in the shop i knew that i wanted to have heike's fibers in it as well so that i could share it with all of you um and i am so glad that for the next spinning fiber update we are introducing four different bases of frau wölfchen spinning fiber and i'm gonna show them to you today the second part of this video is something fun also spinning related um, we also carry john arban apple door wool tops um and they are looking a little bit funky sometimes when they're not spun up so i have spun up a few samples that i wanted to show you i mean obviously there are a million different ways of color managing color in your spin so this is just one way of spinning these up but i thought it would be useful um 
uh, to share them with you. So that's going to be the second part. I do want to start with Frau Wölfchen though. And we are going to start with the product that I had on my wheel first from her, which is something that I have not seen anywhere else with anyone else. Um, and these are her South Down sock sets. So as you can see, they come like this and you can probably guess why you can spin up each braid of these into yarn for a sock so that you can knit a pair of socks out of this yarn and they will look not exactly because i mean but um very much very 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 similar and i thought this was a genius concept i mean i love sock sets and sock stuff anyways you all know this about me um so no one will be surprised that I was very intrigued by this. I was also very intrigued by the fiber because South Down wool is something that I have had on my radar, but I hadn't spun it. Um, and I hadn't, I don't think I had knit with it. Have I knit with it? If I have knit with it, then at the very beginning of making stories, because I remember that we had a yarn in South Downs, a pattern in a South Downs yarn in Woods. Yes, in Woods, I think. Um, so this is a really good fiber for, uh, for socks, um, sturdy, rustic, um, you can feel that in the braid. If you spin this up with a high twist, it's going to make even stronger sock yarn. Um, and I adore this. Each of these sets comes with 150 grams. And that means that you have roughly about 75 grams per braid that you can spin up whichever way you like. It's 100% South Down. All of the fibers that I'm going to introduce is like 100% breed specific. So this is 100% South Down yarns, hand dyed by Heiko. Um, and we're going to have four colorways of the South Down sock sets. This one is called Desert Rose. So this is the natural color of the South Down. It's this creamy white, and then it transitions into this taupey grayish desert inspired tone, while slowly, 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 slowly transitioning into the rose colors down here. So there is some, uh, there is some fuchsia, there is some really dark, red, brown, purple, brown. There is some magenta. There is like lots of really good color down here. And I think this would be so fun to spin up. So this is the South Down Sock Sets by Frau Wölfchen in Desert Rose. The next one that we'll have is something for all the fall lovers amongst us. Um, I try to find a mix between lighter and darker colorways. Um, this is called Herbstwind, so Autumn Wind, and I adore this color combination. Um, it starts with lots of gorgeous teal and then slowly transitions into golden fall leaves that are slowly coming to the ground and then end in this really warm brown. There's a little bit of olive in between. It's just really good. It's really, really, really good. Super fun for socks. The next one, the next one, I thought, I saw, so Heike sent me color suggestions. I picked out, I sent her like a rough idea of which colorways of hers I liked. Um, and then she dyed up suggestions so I could pick. And I immediately knew that I wanted this because I think this will make for some gorgeous socks. This is called Rosebud. Um, and you can see the rose, right? Like this is the bud slash then the flower and these gorgeous peachy pink, orangey, purple tones. And uh, these are the leaves, right? The leaves with a little bit of thorns, some really new leaves, some older leaves, gorgeous. Just rosebud. 
And then the last colorway is something that I can resist because it's a scent that I love. This is lavender. So this is for everyone who, like me, has been bitten by the lavender slash lilac bag because there's lots of that in there. And then it's contrasted with some lovely turquoise and some lovely purple, dusty pur purple. And I think it's just the most gorgeous thing. I honestly can't decide which one is my favorite. Like they are all, they are all so good. Like, like super good. Like, I mean, this is like a fiber bouquet, right? Like, mm. so yeah. So these are the South Down sock sets, 150 grams each by Verwölfchen that are coming to the shop on Wednesday, June 19th. Then, I picked three different other breed specific fibers that she dyed. Uh, we're going to have three colorways in each of these bases and there are going to be four braids of each available which um, so it is enough for a sweater uh, which was which was my goal um, because I know some of you like to spend for sweaters so yeah that's that's really nice. Um, I'm not there yet. <laughs> I'm currently spinning for shawls, so, and possibly socks, so I might grab one of those sock sets again. Um, and I was really intrigued. I had a really hard time picking which fibers I wanted, and I wanted to offer you something that is pretty unique. Um, and we're gonna start with one that I'm really intrigued to get on my wheel because I haven't spun this yet, and it looks really cool and quite different. Um, this is Suffolk and you can see that it has these like coarse hairs. I am so very new to the spinning terminology that I am very sorry about sort of butchering all of this. Um, but it feels like a really lofty at the same time quite rustic fiber. Um, with these, are these guard hairs? I don't even know. Um, but like really cool. The here you can see a little bit of the un undyed there. So it's a gray. It's a gray base, um, which means the colorways have a lot of depth. And I love them. I adore them. Each of these braids is 150 grams. Um, so just so that you know, it's not our usual 100 grams. So this, this is 150 grams. Um, this is the first colorway, which is called, it's cold outside. Kind of fits perfectly well. Today is a little bit warmer, but yesterday it did not feel like June. So this is this really cool um, mix of navy blue, petrol slash teal, and this golden, a little bit mustardy yellow which I think is just super, super, super great. Like imagine that as a contrast color in a color work sweater, for example. Ooh, so good. And I was like, maybe the yellow as the main color. So yeah, so this is Suffolk. It's cold outside. And then we have something for all of the warm color fans. This is Taste of Autumn on Suffolk again. So this is a really wonderful, very warm, very warm colorway. So there's lots of like dark, like dark brown, dark red, um, burnt orange, some hints of pink um, and a little bit of purple. So like all of the really good fall colorways. So this is Taste of Autumn on Suffolk. And then the third colorway that we have on Suffolk um, is one that caught my eye because it's so fun. It's a little bit funky. I am very curious how this is going to spin up. Um, this is Sea Mate, also on, on Suffolk. So this is a very, very, very bright turquoise slash sea green slash teal. 
um, and then darker purple with hints of lighter purple and black. So I think this is so cool. I think this is so cool. Like such a great colorway. So yeah, I love all three of them. So um, on Suffolk, we have these three colorways. We'll have It's Cold Outside, Taste of Autumn, and Sea Mate. Super fun. The next base that we'll have is something that I don't think I have spun yet either, but it's something that has been on my radar for a while because I just love it so much. Um, it's Jacobs. Um, and the really cool thing about this is that it, the, the original, so we don't have any undyed, but you can see this here. So there are darker and lighter streaks. So the original undyed colorway is a blend of light and dark Jacobs fiber. So the Suffolk is a uniformly, pretty uniform, like it's a heathered gray. Uh, it doesn't have the streaks that the Jacobs does, right? You can see that here. Um, and I think this is, the, the Jacobs is also gonna be really, really fun to spin up. Um, I try to find a good balance between cooler and, and warmer tones. So we're going to start with one of the colder ones on Jacobs, which is Nymph. So this is this really stunning mix of greens and dark blues and light blues and teals. Very much water Nymph. It fits perfectly with this outfit, right? So yeah. Um, again, these are these are a hundred gram, uh, hundred fifty gram. Sorry, hundred fifty gram braids. The second colorway that we're gonna have on Jacob is Immortel, which I also can resist because it has my current favorite shade of lavender in there. Just look at it there. And then it's paired with yellow and orange and light red. And I think it looks so cool. Like this is going to be, this is, this is, I think, I love all of them. I really love all of them. Um, but this, I can see that this is going to be a very, very fun spin. So this is Immortel on Jacobs. And then the third one that we have on Jacobs is actually one that, um, oh, sorry, I am confusing them. Yeah, um, is one that I just kept coming back to uh, when I made the color selection. And I decided to go for it because it's not like anything that we, that we kind of have. Um, this is avocado. Can you see it? It's so fun, right? So there is like lots of lime green and darker green and then interspersed with gray and the natural brown streaks, they really shine through in this. So yeah, this is for everyone who, who really likes, you know, a pop of color. I love them. So these three are the, these three are the Jacobs colors that we're going to have. Nymph. Immortel, the middle one, and avocado. And then the third base, I just had to get this because I love this, I love this fiber so much, is Shetland. And this colorway is the one that I ordered for myself on a different base. Um, and I just love it a lot. This is called There May Be Giants. So this is a really wonderful mix of teal and bits of purple and orange all dyed on here you can actually see the natural Shetland pretty well so this is again a blend of lighter and darker Shetland fiber so it also does have these very very lovely streaks that I really adore in fiber so this is there may be giants on Shetland then we have 
Wellenreiter, which is wave surfer or wave rider. This is for all the blue lovers out there. Um, so this is just tons and tons and tons of different blue shades, which I absolutely adore. Um, bright blues, teals, darker navy is really, really cool. And then the last one on Shetland is Fox Knight. So this is a really fun combination of bright blue and orange with a lot of the natural color shining through. So I think this would also make for a really, really, really wonderful spin. So we have Fox Knight, Wellenreiter, and there may be giants on Shetland. And again, these are all 150 gram braids. Um, I can't even fit all of them here. Um, you can, for sure, for example, combine the Jacobs with the Shetland if you, you know, if you want to apply some of the colors together. Um, that, I think that would be super fun. No, I can't. I'm, I, I'm trying to fit all of them on here so that we can, but I can't. Like, this is just, this is the best that I can do. But it feels like such a great, it's like, it's like a very pretty cushion. So, yeah, um, these are all the Frau Wölfchen braids and the sock sets that are going to come to the shop on Wednesday, June 19th. I'm so excited about them. Um, I hope you love them as much as I do. As I said, we do have sweater quantities of the braids available, so they're going to be four braids of each colorway, and we have three sock sets of each of, um, of each of the sock set colorways. Um, so a good variety, hopefully enough, so that no one is disappointed because they couldn't get what they wanted. Um, yeah. Let's move on to the second part of the video, which is um, my spinning samples of the John Arben, uh, of the John Arben Apple Door Tops. Words, words. Um, so I specifically chose these combed tops by John Arben because they are the most local to them. So all of the fiber in Apple Door, in the Apple Door tops has been sourced in a, I think 50 kilometer radius around the mill. So it's all super local to them, which I love because it cuts down on transport emissions and it supports the local economy. It's a mix of Devon close wool, um, Exmoor, blue face i wanted to say exmoor surplus i was like this is not a thing exmoor blue face and romney spins up like a dream this th this stuff is like butter like it's so good um and it does look a little funky um so yeah i thought i would i thought i would um show the colorways that we still have in stock one of the colorways that we had has already been sold out which is a uh, quench i'm just really quickly going to show that to you how that would look like so this is how that looked like spun up um but i have four out of the five colorways that we still have spun up and i thought i would share this with you now so that if you want to get some of the frau wölfchen fiber and some of the john arben fiber in the next shop update you can do so um the john arben fiber comes in like these gigantic it's essentially just a long thing of combed top um which was how we sold them until now and then when i prepared them for the yarn festival that i was vending at a few weeks ago um i made them into these pretty braids which is how we're gonna how we're gonna sell them from now on because i think it's honestly prettier you can because this is like a crochet chain you can just open them up one bit at a time when you're spinning them um so yeah so just wanted to share that i i love this so much i also just love making them it was very fun so this is the first colorway that i wanted to share with you this is called pig snout if you are confused not confused if you are wondering about the interesting colorway names of this particular fiber they are all apple varieties so this is not pig snout 
Pixnout, but Pixnout Apple. Who knew? Um, so Pixnout um, has lots of pink with hints of yellow and white and blue in the fiber. And this is how it can look like spun up. I say can look like because you can do a million different things. This is a two ply where I have just split this braid into two halves, spun them and then plied them together. Um, I mean, I'm a very newbie spinner, right? So that's my sort of main thing that I do right now. Um, and when you do that, you kind of get like a little rainbow effect. So it's a super cool rainbow yarn um, that comes out of this fiber. This is Pixnow, John Arben Appledore Tops. Then the next one um, that I'm going to show you is this one, which is Spicy Pippin. Spicy Pippin um, has bright greens and yellows and grays in it. It's like that. And then it spins up, or I have spun it up, into this cutie. Oh, hello, camera, will you focus, please? There we go. So it is this really fun bright green with yellow undertones, quite heather and definitely not as funky green as in the fiber. So this is Spicy Pippin. Then we have Yeovil Sour, which I think we only have like maybe two braids of these left. Um, this is a really cool um, blue colorway. So there's lots of bright blue with hints of gray and brown and a little bit of teal and white in there. And this is how it spins up. So it's, it's a very cool blue, um, heathered with like just these very, very lovely flecks of sometimes yellow, sometimes teal. I mean, yellow because well, not really yellow, actually more the teal and turquoise. So this is how this looks like. This is Yeovil Sour. And then the last one that I spun up is Fox Whelp, um, which is a lot of gray um, slate and copper with tiny bits of pink and yellow. And this is how that looks like spun up. So this to me is like a really fabulous neutral. Um, it's a very warm gray brown with these fun bits of color. I could totally see myself knitting a sweater out of this colorway. Super, super fun. Uh, so this is Foxwell. The only one that I have not spun up yet um, is this one, which is Ellis Bitter, uh, which is the like dark gray with um, bright pink and teal. So I think this is also going to be really fun. So yeah, that was my shop update preview video for our next spinning fiber update that's going to happen on wednesday june 19th at 9 a.m for the collective levels full skein and sweater quantity if you want to find out more about the collective i'm going to put the link in the down bar below and in that shop update we're going to have wonderful wonderful hand dyed breed specific spinning fiber by frau wölfchen we're going to have southdown sock sets suffolk shetland and jacobs and lots of gorgeous cutaways. And if you want to throw in a few of the John Arben Appledore tops, you know now how they could look like when they're spun up. 
I will hopefully see you on Wednesday. So 9 a.m. for the collective, noon Berlin time. This is all Berlin time for general access. If you are not yet subscribed to our newsletter, go ahead and do so. The link is also in the down bar below because our newsletter subscribers will get an email when the shop update is live. So you can set an alarm. Of course, you always can, but you don't have to. Thank you so much for watching this. I am going to uh, welcome you back in just a few weeks with a podcast episode about what I have been knitting and spinning. And I can't wait to see you then. Bye.